say they should help themselves. I mean, we shouldn't work for them. Well, I think we should be nice and helpful to everyone. Well, right, I'm not trying to be mean, but, I mean, we can't go out of our way. Well, I'd go out of my way. Yeah, you would. Well, it sounds like you got it all under control. Just make sure that you get that campaign project done as soon as possible, okay? But we have our senior thesis to do. Not for another few months. Just make sure you do my project first, okay? We'll just, we'll just make a video after school today. Okay. okay, let's do that one more time. NC? Yeah. Okay. And that's why I, Michael Birch, want to be your president. That's pretty good. You need a campaign slogan. How about the better choice? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, man. I'm glad we did a video. Yeah, I think I'm going to post it on YouTube and you guys can call me Mr. President. <laughs> Just post it. Politics now in a new campaign video that just went viral. It seems that high school student Michael Birch is trying to run for president and the people are very receptive to him. Let's take a look at this interview. Michael, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Well, first of all, a lot of people didn't think you'd get this far. Mm -hmm. How do you see yourself running for president in high school? The way I see it is I know some people uh, who identify as dogs. Um, and if we were to count in dog years, I would be. 128. Wow. That makes tons of sense. It works. Exactly. Right. More people will definitely support you exactly. on a dog to dog basis. Yeah. Uh, so now, uh, how do you see yourself on world hunger? When, when I go to In-N-Out to, to buy a burger or something, I'm going to buy two. You're going to buy two burgers? That's right. And I never see anybody do this. Yeah. This is a great way to work on that. Yeah. You would be helping World Hunger out in a completely different yeah. way. Yeah, two burgers at a time. Uh, man, Michael, congrats yes. and good luck on the campaign. Thank you. Yeah. Now. They've called about half the states, and now Michael Birch has gained several points. He's narrowed the lead of his opponents, and we're just waiting on the last few states now, and Michael Birch is behind by just a few points. If he gets these next two states, he will be our next president. And this just in, the last state is called for Michael Birch, giving him the lead <laughs> and the president. winning votes. I can't be president. I was just kidding around this whole time. But now I can call you Mr. President. Mr. Lova, Lova, Lova. Mm. I'm Mr. Lova, Lova. She call me Mr. Bombastic, tell me fantastic. Touch me on me box, she says I'm Mr. Romantic. Call me fantastic, touch me on me box, she says I'm Mr. Romantic. Smooth, just like a silk. Soft and cuddly, you me up like a What? I mean, there's work involved with this job? Okay, I need whoever's in charge here in my office in the next three minutes. You're in charge, sir. Fast work, Wilson. All right, I'll, uh, I'll sign these and mail them out. We need your decision on which law we're going to pass. Simon, I haven't even looked at these. Well, we need your decision now. You know, guys, we have to do this the presidential way. And that's rock, paper, scissors. All right, whoever I match with, that's the one I'm going to pick. Okay, um, all right, well, I'll think.
think of a number, and whichever number I'm closest to between you guys, that's the one. That's the one I'll go with. Okay. You guys got your number? I picked two. Pick six. Awesome. I picked four. Great. Wilson. Okay. How did the other presidents decide these things? Just like that, sir. I don't, I don't want to help these people. Okay, guys. The president needs to take a break. Everyone out until further notice. You know, this would be a lot more productive if our staff were euthanized. Sir. No, think about it. Think about how much more productive we could be if we euthanized our staff. Um, why? Well, you know, there's, there's a lot of old people around and I think we need to bring some more youth into the staff, you know, euthanize. Oh, yeah. Doritos, right? That's a scientific fact, sir. What? What? I, I don't... It has been three days now since President Birch's nationwide ban on Doritos, and the riots have only gotten worse. Scientists, meantime, have looked into this ban and just discovered that Doritos are actually the number one cause of cancer in this country. On behalf of all Americans... What? No, no, I, I don't want them to like me. I, I want to get impeached. All right, that's it. We're putting that wall on the wrong border. Cut off all ties with Canada. What? Wrong number? Sorry about that. Breaking news for you right now. President Birch has just cut off all ties with Canada, thus creating a huge need for maple syrup in this country. Because of this cutoff from Canada, the president has created over 50,000 jobs in the syrup industry. Thank you, you are again, so Mr. Good president. at helping people. I hate having the entire country just love me. What, what can I do to get impeached? You could email classified documents. No, that would get me reelected. Hey, Michael, did you finish your part for our senior thesis? No, I haven't had any time to. But you're the president of the United States. Yeah, I need to pay attention to big problems, not little ones like yours. Uh, I could have my assistant write it. I just do, Matt. You just sat down, sir. What? No.
Mr. Bombastic. We want to some bombastic, romantic, fantastic lover. Shaggy. Mr. Lover, Lover. Mm. Mr. Lover, Lover. Lover. <laughs> Girl. Mr. Lover, Lover. Lover. Mm. Mr. Lover, Lover.